I want to show you guys the best build to get gold, platinum, polytomic, and Orion for the M16. If you guys have used the M16 before, you guys know that this is the worst gun or AR in the game. Let's talk about it. So first, this build is it's built for short range and long range in mind. So it's a two tap everywhere. It takes two bursts to kill at every range. And another thing to keep in mind is that you have to aim lower at the body, the farther the distance. But see, it's a two tap at all ranges. I tried to adjust it to where short range was a little better, but it didn't work out. I'm gonna show you guys the exact attachments and the tuning setup I used to get it. Let's hop back out and go look at it. So, first off, we'll start with optic. The Cronin Mini Red Dot. This obviously is going to be personal preference and completely up to you. You decide on the site you like. I like the Cronin. It's small. It doesn't take up a lot of visibility. So yeah, that's all you. I'll show you the tune I have on it just to maybe you want to tune yours the same way. But I have it at negative 0.48 on this side on the weight. And then on the eye position, I have it at negative 1.02. This is just for better aiming and better aiming down sight speed. Cause we're, the goal here is to find the balance between the gun, aim down sight speed and range and damage, right? So that's what I've built this for. This is completely custom. I haven't seen anyone build it like this. So you're in for a treat. Definitely give this a shot. Now let's go to the Harbinger D20. Obviously you're using this because it gives you better damage range and everything else in between this is the best suppressor for the weapon itself let's look at the tune so i have recoil smoothness all the way plus 1.40 on the weight side and then on the length side we have plus one zero and 1.0 and this is just to help with damage and recoil smoothness so when you're doing your two bursts at a time it stays really really accurate this is the best build. I've messed with this quite a bit. This is the best scenario for this. You could adjust it plus or minus a couple points, but for my testing, this is the best version of this suppressor. Let's go to the Merc foregrip is the next one. I have it at plus 0.21 on the weight and minus 0.18 on the length. This is going to help with better recoil. Obviously you wanna hit those two bursts simultaneously so this helps keep it all control as you're trying to shoot them and then obviously the 556 over pressured plus p we're taking the damage range all the way up to 0 0.70 on the weight side and then we're also getting plus point four point zero six on the load more towards bullet velocity. You could mess with this a little bit, but from what I've been testing, this is the good balance between the two with these bullets. It makes for a really hard hit, and that's what's getting us the two tap from any distance hit. I don't know if you guys have used the M16 before, but I'm gonna tell you, if you don't have it tuned and you're not using the right stuff, this thing's like a, a full clip from long distance. And to get your platinum camo, you need 25 kills long range. So getting it down to a two tap is it's massive because this gun isn't that good. It just, it really isn't that good. If you guys have watched this far, make sure you guys drop a like. I stream and make Call of Duty content all right here on YouTube. And if you want some of that, make sure you guys subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Let's get into the last thing, the support CP90 grip. Now I have this more towards recoil steadiness with the 0.55 plus on the weight side and on the width we're at the plus 0.17 for aiming stability. This is helping us achieve better accuracy so that when you're shooting the bullets stay in a closer spread. As you guys saw in the training firing range there, it's a two tap. P 
period it's not a one it's probably a one tap if they're right on top of you but it's a two tap from all ranges that's the key here i wanted to cut back and increase as much damage as i could without sacrificing too much mobility so you can still run around with this gun i think after a lot of testing i have spent hours testing different builds this is the best build that will get you somewhere in the long run and get you the camels you're looking for i'll see you guys in the next one deuces